Hey techies, this is quite a late video, but this week I got my hands on the Apple TV 4th gen. This is actually quite interesting because I've never owned an Apple TV, I know, noob. But make sure to subscribe to see a setup video and a mini review video from me next week. Packaging wise, it's totally Apple style, large black box with an Apple logo and TV text, so let's get into this. I ended up purchasing the 32GB variant for $149, but also comes in a 64GB option for $199. For my use, I'm pretty sure the 32GB will work just fine. So the Apple TV is compatible with any high def TV by connecting it through HDMI, which important to note, an HDMI cable is not included, so you will have to purchase this if you don't already have one on the side. And of course, it does come with Bluetooth 4.0 and Wi-Fi capabilities. Now let's get into the box. Yeah, sounds good. So PS, I un really enjoy how neatly this box is laid out, how all the contents are just extremely organized. Big fan. First, we got the newly redesigned remote. Next to that is the Apple TV sitting on top. Back to the side, we got the power cord. And lastly, hiding at the bottom is a let's get started manual and a lightning to usb cable i actually want to get back to the remote for a bit so the remote is actually completely redesigned from its predecessor it connects to the apple tv through bluetooth and it is sear enabled so any command that you see into the remote will be brought out to you by the apple tv the top half has a glass surface touch which allows for easy navigation on the back though does anybody else think this looks like an ipod nano anyone Either way, it's pretty lightweight and sleek looking. Let's get back to the main event. So the main event is obviously the Apple TV. It's coming in at 15 ounces, which is quite hefty, but I mean, it's gonna be sitting under your TV or next to your TV, so no biggie there. As for ports, on the back, you'll find an HDMI port, ethernet port, USB-C port, and the power supply port. After reading a couple articles on the Apple TV setup, it seems extremely simple, so I'm pretty excited to see if I can get this done. I'm really looking forward to the gaming feature. Since the remote does have gyroscope, it's going to act like a controller and make you feel like you are actually playing a real game. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one and have a tech full day. Bye!